Alright, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, driver for your uh, RTL SDR for uh, SDR software. So anyway, if we go to the airspy.com website and click on download, we're going to download the first file here. And there's the date of it. So if we just click download, that'll give us a zip file labeled uh, SDR Sharp x86. So I just use uh, 7 zip, but you can use whatever you may have. And we just extracted it to another folder here. So if we open this guy up, as you can see, we got a handful of things in here. So the first thing we want to do is double click on the install RTL SDR. Now I have already done this, but we'll see here. As you can see, it's downloading. <clears throat> and uh, once that's done, we will click OK. So once that's done, we're done with that guy. So now what we need to do is get out here and click on the ZDIG. And it'll come up and maybe ask you yes or no. And let me drag this guy over. All right, so now that we have this up, first thing we'll want to do is click on Options, List All Devices. And depending on how many things you have in your computer or plugged in, your list will change here. It will be different. But for us, we're looking for bulk in interface. Zero. Because if I unplug my dongle, I go from 11 to 9 devices. And that's something you might have to do is unplug it and replug it back in to make sure you select the right one because you don't want to replace your a driver for something else with this driver. So anyway, we're going to click interface zero. And as you can see, I already have it on here, but I'm just going to show you because more than likely it'll show nothing here or it'll show something different. But we need to make it say win USB. So after that, all we need to do is click on the reinstall driver. So once we do that, it'll come up and start installing the driver. Gotta love Windows 10 when it says not responding. Never have that problem with a Mac, but that's another topic, another video, <clears throat> or even a Linux machine. Uh, seems like you need a uh, computer with about 64 gigs of RAM in it to make Windows work right. So anyway, we're going to let this go. It shouldn't take too long to uh, install this software to install the driver so okay so there we go already the driver was installed successfully so we're done with that guy so we can close that out so now if we double click on the SDR sharp uh, icon here it's bringing it up on my other screen here so bear with me Okay, so here we have it. So if we click on the little gearbox right here. Actually, we want to click on source. And we'll click on RTL USB. It's been a while since I used this. So there we go. So hopefully this kind of helps out. 
and if we click the play we have it uh, working here so uh, thanks for watching stay tuned for another one don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe